Hello everyone, this is Gareth and this is episode 8 level 2! And this is not a very interesting level! At all! Basically, first of all, go all the way down. Kill this robot who's being mean by standing there all menacingly. It's, it's very important you kick him off of the thing because else he'll feel lonely. You, would, you wouldn't want a lonely robot. Oh no. But more importantly, he has a nuke. And nukes are nice. Very nice indeed. But yes, kill that guy and then walk all the way to the bottom left of this gigantic room over here. And then jump on top of this platform. After killing that robot. Yes, so far it seems like a pretty nice level. With jumping and large rooms. And opening doors. And killing that camera over there. Who dies in one hit. But I'm not very good at aiming. So that's why it took a while. But yes, walk to the left over here. Kill those robots. Kill the evil almost woman robot thing move up. And the, yeah, the third, th these do quite a lot of damage, so that's why I'm just going to be playing it safe for most of the time. And, yeah, basically make your way through this room. Although you don't really need to kill all the enemies if you don't want to. The important thing is, is that you basically go to this door over here. And go through it. And I just want to play some pipe bombs over here because there's going to be some enemies that spawn there in a moment. After pushing this button, in fact, that makes them untransform and explode for some reason. And then the enemies spawn over there the moment you go back again. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that because that's what you're going to be doing four more times in the exact same manner. Ah, I, I really. This, this is my least favorite level in the entire game by far. Simply because, well, so far I've been playing for two minutes and the end, this, this video is probably gonna be like 14 minutes long and it's just the same thing for the first 10 minutes. This is not fun. This this is just dull in my humble opinion. Nyeh. And yeah, I, I don't know why I jumped on this flat. I did not put effort in this video <laughs> at all, really. But, um, I actually edited something out. And there's even a death in this video for a change. So, yeah, all sorts of things we've never seen before. So basically, wait for the platform to be here. So you can jump on top of it. And then wait for it to go to the right. And go through the door. Because previously, there was a force field in front of this door. But pressing that button in that one room opened this door. Allowing us to continue on. And once again a camera, and once again I can't aim for Taffy. It's actually quite difficult to hit those things because they're kind of... They're at the exact height that you just can't hit them, pretty much, if that makes any sense. But yeah, it's kind of tricky to hit them, but if you do hit them once, then they're dead. So yeah, shouldn't worry about them too much. And that was room number two. So once again, we get to go through the door in a moment, once we get down. This door, yes. And this time, I'm just going to place the pipe bomb slightly further up ahead. And I push the button. And the same thing is going to happen every time that they just turn into rats again, so I'm not going to wait for it every time. Kill them with a the pipe bomb and get nuke number four and five. Yes. Now there are a couple of nukes that are not um, in those rooms actually. The, the first nuke was in the bottom right of the giant room and there's actually a couple more nukes in this room as well that are actually kind of... One of them especially is really quite tricky to get because you need to make a very awkward jump in my opinion so... Nyeh. But just jump on top of this platform and jump to the left to land on top of this platform and Try to get on that one, but if you miss that one, just wait for a few seconds. It should uh, it should go uh, down pretty quickly again. So jump on top of that and ride it all the way up to get to laboratory number three, which is the one you opened by pushing the button in laboratory number two. And once again, get to go through this room again. And you get to kill the evil camera, which is to I think we all get the idea by now. This level is just boring and meh and meh. 
And pipe bombs are actually quite useful because, well, 30 damage per hit from those girl type things, I'm not really sure what to call them, is a lot. So, yeah, just don't get hit by them and you should be okay. At least those robots die in two hits, and there's two health power ups there as well, which is always nice. So, yeah. After getting that, go through the door, place three pipe bombs at this location, jump to the right, press the button. Look at the cockroaches that turn into cockroaches again. Oh my god, an enemy spawned. Let's blow him up with the previously placed pipe bombs. And walk through the door so we can go to laboratory number four. Oh my god, you have no idea how much I'm enjoying this. Oh yes. So much fun. But yes, go wait here for this platform. This platform is actually quite annoying for one main reason. And you, the main reason is from this platform you have to jump to another platform later. Only it is actually random whether or not the two platforms actually connect in a proper way. So quite often you'll you'll just have to go back into laboratory number three and then go back outside again and hope that the platforms are properly aligned that time. But uh, meh. Anyway, to so the right over here is the entrance, so don't go over there. Instead, go up here. And laboratory number four is where the girl is being captured. And going back to a previous point, I... yeah. <clears throat> so many babes, so little time. Back to a previous point is... Um, I can kind of understand how the girls would make it back on the docks and stuff, because, you know, it's kind of humanly accessible, but in space it, it would be kind of tricky, I suppose, if you just... Oh, you saved me, the ball is no longer attached to me, so now we can go home. Stop Magically. Yes. I don't know. Pancakes. But yes. Now that we're in laboratory then. For kill all the robots that are in blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 forward. Blah 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 blah. And after having done that, blah 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 go through door blah. Place pipe bobs blah at the same blah 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 blah. Yes, this is the most informative thing you may have ever seen in your entire life. <sighs> it bothers me. So yeah, that one didn't contain a nuke, sadly enough. But at least you have now opened the pathway to laboratory number five. Which is where we will be going now. And this is where we have to be kind of lucky with that platform, actually. Unfortunately, I was, but apparently I decided to jump all the way down because that seemed like a pretty good idea at the time. Yes. I mean, look at it. How could this not be a good idea, I ask you? Oh, I ask you indeed. Oh, I ask you indeed. But it doesn't matter too much because we need to get to laboratory number three anyway, so... This elevator should take us directly up there, so... Shouldn't have lost too much time in the end when you think about it. And that's the platform we need to get on, so... Fun, fun, weighty time of waitingness indeed. Wait, 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 do, do, do. Jump, 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 jump. And now to ride it all the way up again. The excitement never ceases to amaze me. And that's basically the platform that may or may not be connected properly. And just charging up my weapon here. So I can try to hit an enemy that's off screen, but it's kind of tricky to hit and is actually one of the reasons why I edited out about a minute of footage from this video. Because he made me miss a jump and then I fell all the way to the bottom and I got to go all the way down and up again and I didn't feel like making you watch all of that. So, But anyway, that won't happen until a few minutes from now. First of all... Make your way through the room, kill all the enemies, la 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 la. You get the idea, we've done this 17 times already. Yes. A few cyborg girls, a few cameras. Maybe one of, nope, not one of those big robots with guns, I'm afraid. Alas, we must live without the big robot with guns. But, 
at least we will have a slightly different enemy this time in the um, this little area. Because so far it was pick up, pick up, pick up, and giant robot. But this time it's going to be if I walk slightly further forward. There we go. It will be a cyborg girl, and she's dead immediately. But she also carries a blue key card. So now you could technically go to the exit. But there is still one more nook that we need to get in the giant room of giant giantness before we can go through the force field door. And this is where I edited out about a minute of footage because you need to wait for this very, very slow platform of slow slowiness. And it is slow. And after you get on the platform, kill this robot over here to get nuke number nine. And then go through the force field door with nine nukes. Once again, no secrets in this level, but then again, when every room is exactly the same, where will we put the secrets, really? Uh, these lasers are quite dangerous. The one that is uh, to the top right over there that's not moving only does like two damage per hit. But the ones that are spinning around next to that ball kill you instantly. So there is a pretty safe way of doing this by just using pipe bombs or rockets to destroy those balls. And as such, you will not be able to take damage from them anymore because they are no longer the tail. But it is definitely quite annoying and it is the safest way to just to just shoot them basically, but you can also just avoid them since, you know, they are spinning. Once again, not sure why you would ever need a room like this in a room that also contains some of your henchmen that also kind of need to stay alive, but, you know, I'm not Dr. Morphix. I do not make these decisions. But I'm just using the safe way because I am lazy and I really did not want to do this level over again. But the most amazing thing in the game does manage to kill me in this level. And of course, it's a door. I got killed by a door. If I got killed by the lasers, I probably would have started over again, but since the checkpoint was over there and it was a door that killed me, I decided why not let it in because this level is so much fun anyway. Might as well die. Yeah. And I died again, I would have just started over, but I did not. So I will just make my way forward. Blow up more stuff. And only two more enemies remain, fortunately. These balls do not count as kills, by the way, so... Yeah, walking past them would definitely be the quicker way of getting 100% kills. But, eh, I like safe methods in levels that bore me. And I have no idea what I'm aiming for here. Maybe the ball. Maybe the robot. Maybe I'm just very confused about anti-gravity. Either way, it is taking a fair amount of time. Also, standing on top of this platform is always safe when you're... If you don't want to get hit by the evil laser ball of death. But rockets work too. So, yes. Now that we've done that, walk through the same room five times, and then in this place walk through the same room three times, we finally made it to the end of the level and make our way into the last level of the game, which is episode 8, level 3, which will be in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this super exciting, amazing level of amazingness of fun and fantastic goodness. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. God, I hate you.